Texas taxpayers are shelling out about $30 million every year to drive the state's sick and poor to the doctor. It's big bucks, and it's, of course, big business, too, but is the state getting its money's worth while paying out those millions? Some complain they're not getting what the doctor ordered. Becky Oliver is here with a Fox 4 investigation. Becky. Well, a company called Logisticare took over the North Texas Medicaid contract this past April, and since then, almost six thousand complaints everything from missing appointments because of no-show drivers to injured passengers even the legally blind left behind the biggest one i ever got was 22 pounders jimmy walker loves his quiet life out in the country Are you ready to head home dear but in recent months life has been anything but peaceful I just had a really bad feeling I didn't want to go that day because I, I noticed his eyes were just, they were red and bloodshot. Carol Stevens takes care of Walker 24 hours a day. He's recovering from a broken hip and complications from being a paraplegic and diabetic. He depends on Logisticare to get him to his doctor's appointment. Back in mid-August, Stevens complained Walker's wheelchair wasn't tied down, and when the driver took a sharp turn, the chair flipped. Oh, I think I was in shock, sort of. I was scared half to death, I heard my hip again. I screamed at Jimmy because I seen him falling. I said, call 911 now. But Stephen says the driver didn't call 911 and instead drove Walker to his appointment. Days later, photos show Walker's bruised and battered body. Out of four limbs, he had one good limb, and that's the limb that damaged is his right arm. Walker's complaint is just one of thousands filed with Logisticare. <laughs> Hubert Sullivan can barely get in and out of bed. He's had bypass surgery, knee replacement, and he's now battling cancer. He's complained of no-shows. And on one trip, the driver drove down the wrong side of the highway, not able to understand Sullivan's concerns in English. This lady come across the hill and she, she saw it and started flashing her lights and waving. No more. There you go. Good boy. And Gary Parrish complained he was stranded at the doctor's office. He's diabetic and legally blind. He says he was forced to walk when no one showed up to drive him home. Instantly, I just went off and said, I can't believe this is happening to me. Ten miles? Yeah, about ten miles is what I walked that day. Since Logisticare took over the 13-county North Texas contract, the complaints have been rolling in, nearly 6,000 in the first five and a half months. And that's what Logisticare has turned over to the state, because Logisticare takes the complaints. Who's complaining? Well, that's all confidential. The state will only turn over broad complaint categories with no specifics and no names. Here's how it breaks down. Drivers showed up late 1,922 times. 1,500 times the driver didn't show up at all, which means some clients never made it to the doctor. And 1,100 complaints were filed about the driver. The Texas Health and Human Services Commission oversees the roughly $30 million North Texas contract. The payments vary month to month because Logisticare gets paid based on the number of Medicaid recipients eligible for rides, which means the company still gets paid the same even for late or missed trips. Stephanie Goodman is with HHS. She says that's the way the state wanted it. If they miss a trip, they risk a fine, which is a lot more than what they were getting paid for the trip. We are really hard on our providers. Um, we do not hesitate to find them. But Goodman admits the state has yet to find Logisticare even a dime for any incident since April. And the state has no problem with Logisticare self-reporting complaints. If they were not honest on those numbers, we're going to find that out. No, no, that is the fox guarding the hen house. I mean, Senator Jay Nelson chairs the State Health and Human Services Committee. In private practice, if there was a company that, that just didn't show up 1,500 times, they would be out of business. It's mind-boggling to me that they're reporting that they didn't show on themselves that they didn't show up 1,500 times. So what's the real number there? We asked for an on-camera interview with Logisticare, but the company said no. We were allowed to meet with a company rep, but if we recorded it, Logisticare said it would require, quote, approval if we used any statements. 
Fox 4 would not agree to those terms. Logisticare set the ground rules. No filming whatsoever. Off camera, the company rep told us Logisticare makes 89,000 trips a month, saying its complaint rate is about 1.2 percent. Logisticare says that number is minuscule, but still unacceptable. Nationwide, the company says it has industry-leading statistics. It calls these nearly 6,000 reports transitional issue complaints and says the numbers are coming down each month. Every week, I was having to call Logisticare and complain and complain and complain. Stevens says she's been so vocal, the company now sends a bus service for Walker with lifts and drivers who carefully strap him in. But she's still wondering whatever happened to the complaint filed with Logisticare. The company sent a letter promising to investigate, but she's never heard back. But my arm is, uh, you know, it, it, it hurts. Walker has had to follow up with his physician. He says taxpayers picked up the tab. I don't think it, uh, they should pay for that guy turning me over my wheelchair and hurting me. Logisticare should not be uh, governing themselves. It doesn't matter if it's a poor person or a rich person. It, you don't deserve to be treated this way. Now, Logisticare told Fox 4 it could not comment, comment on any specific complaint, but the state gave us copies of what Logisticare reported. In Walker's case, Logisticare admitted the chair tipped over, but reported that Walker was fine, and Carol Stevens never mentioned she was injured. Walker and Stevens say not true. Logisticare also reported that Gary Parrish wasn't stranded. His driver was just running 40 minutes late. Parrish says not true. And Logisticare reported Sullivan's driver admitted he drove the wrong way. The driver was suspended for one week. All right, so if Logisticare has truly turned over all those complaints, why isn't the state doing more to check these, these things out? Good question. The state says it is still too early that this has been a troubled program in the past and they want to give the company a chance to go in and try to fix some of those problems. Okay, but meantime, if somebody wants to file a complaint, is there somebody else to go to besides the company itself, an outside third party? Absolutely, Heather. They can file with the state. They can contact their lawmakers. And starting tomorrow in both Dallas and Fort Worth, the state will, is holding public hearings where riders can voice their concerns and you can get more information on our website at myfoxdfw.com. Oh, but no doubt a lot of frustration for those families. Becky, thank you.